we are doing something super exciting. We are going to a bookstore. And you're like, that's not that exciting, Vespa. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be taking you along with me as we go to a bookstore. Now, this is such an exciting day for me. Um, my closest Barnes & Noble actually shut down it was in like the first year of me doing online content and that was like devastating because I loved going to it and the only other bookstore I have next to me is a Books A Million. I don't know if everyone like shares the sentiment but I feel like Books A Million doesn't hit the way Barnes & Noble does. There's just something about it that's not the same. So then because the one next to me closed down, the closest Barnes & Noble is a little bit further away. It's not like a huge distance, it's like an extra 10-15 minutes than the one that used to be next to me. So I don't go to it as often and I think she, it's actually been like a while since I've gone to a Barnes & Noble. So that's what we're doing today. I'm currently in the process of transferring my belongings into a tote bag because I feel like you have to wear a tote bag if you go book shopping. I'm gonna take you with me as I go. I have a couple other stops. We're gonna also grab some boba, grab some lunch. And then actually, today is also gonna be my first time going to a Trader Joe's because there's a Trader Joe's right next to the Barnes & Noble. I just don't go to this area of town a lot, but we're doing it today. So super exciting and I can't wait to take you guys with me. To all my hijabis or just anyone who kind of lives in Florida, do me yourself a favor, get yourself a portable fan. I'll link this in the description. This is like $15. It's a portable fan, two settings. It is also a portable charger. And wait for it. If you hold the button, it's a flashlight. Doo -doo -doo. This is one of the best investments I've ever made. And I'm not, this isn't like promo. I'm not getting paid or sponsored. I just really love this. I don't go anywhere without it. Theme parks, work, shopping. I don't leave my house without it. Lifesaver. Maybe this is like a good time for like what's in your bag. So I showed you my fan, I have my wallet. I am like the mom friend or like, I don't know, the responsible person. I always have wipes, tissues, band-aids, ibuprofen, contact solution, hand sanitizer, and a Tide pen. Also, icebreakers because I'm not a gum person. Like I don't like gum because afterwards I'm like, where do I spit this out? So icebreakers are it for me. Also like my emergency inhaler, um, my AirPods, and lip gloss. Oh, and I always take like a little travel size body spray and a small like sample size perfume. Like whenever I get these, I always leave them in my bag. I really am like strict that I always smell good. I never want to smell bad. Anyway, this is a fit. Cute. I got this top yesterday and I think it matches well with like the beige pants. All right, let's get going. <laughs> It's kind of sprayed edges for the paperback, which I think is really pretty. This is a really cool cover. Queen Bee and it's $3 off. This is like Bridgerton disc. It's like super messy drama. I loved it. The hell are you looking up for? Next to Siren Girl. Can we do it again? Next to Siren Girl. I love finding books I know in bookstore. It's like saying hi to my friends. Oh, my rage. Oh, Misfit in Love, the paperback. They have so many of them. That's so cool. Okay, so these are the original covers for Daughter of the Siren Queen. They have these real people pretty edges. Why am I tempted to buy these? Found the only copy of Lemon Trees. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. We found them with some books. Queens. 17? 17 right here. Does J-Hope live for himself? Okay, so I just ended up getting Queen Bee. I was good, I only got one book. Now let's go do lunch. 
I don't think I'm dressed nice enough for this place. Okay, I couldn't film in store, um, but we just finished. It was like what? We spent like 15 minutes in there. Um, I will say it's a little underwhelming. You, you hear all these great things about Trader Joe's and it was really nice and they had really nice stuff. I just don't, I can't justify spending money like that, right? Like they have really nice things, but I'm like, I, there's better prices at other stores for bigger quantities. Like, I don't think, would you come here again? I don't think it's I'd come here again. <laughs> I don't think I'd come here again. I think all the publics, I'm gonna stick to what I know. Let's show you what we got. So we got this like 10 instant coffee packets thing. This one was how much? 229. I paid $10 for three things. 29 I was like, this is decent. Let me try it. I like coffee. This, then we got these frozen lemon bars. These were 12 of them. For how much? $5. $5? Not bad. Okay, I have lemon bars, so we're gonna try it. And then I hear a lot about Trader Joe's and snacks, so I got the cream and onion corn puffs. I don't remember how much these were. Those are $2.49. $2.49. Can I try this now? No, my god, we can go home. We'll get my <laughs> anyway, um, so overall review, I don't think I've come to Trader Joe's again, but at least now I can say I've tried it. Everything that I had seen on the internet that I was like, oh, let me try like the spinach and artichoke dip or like the soup dumplings, it was such like a small quantity for so much. And I was like, first of all, I can't justify this and my mom's gonna be mad. So I'm gonna stay, I'm an Aldi girly through and through. And that's my bookstore trip. I hope you guys had a good time and I'll see you next time. Bye.